you guys, dude, back out here with the Outcast 8S. Look at this thing, man. Absolutely amazing. Dude, we got the Rams. There's a bunch of new dirt piles out here. Look at the ruts in this thing. So I think it'd be perfect to, dude, see what this thing's got. Let's get to it, boys. This is probably the last time it's gonna look this good, so I just really wanna take one last good look at her, you know? It is definitely a beautiful truck, man. But, yeah, let's get to it. All right. Whoo! Outcast 8S, boys. Yeah, so, since the last time I drove this thing, you know, um, I did go ahead and change the pinion out in it. I am running a 25 tooth pinion in there now. Um, you know, I, I don't have much of a run up here, so, you know, we won't be, we won't be hitting the ramps, nothing crazy. But I just want to see how it fly, tear it up out here and whatever, you know. Um, dude, definitely a great truck, man. Oh my goodness, dude, I love it. Yeah, backflip with no problem. Come on now. And I in the Outcast 8S. You know, in the in the uh, Outcast, I mean, in the Creighton, in the Creighton 8S, on the Creighton 8S, I noticed the uh, the motor mount was different. This one, I can definitely. There you go. I could definitely um, fit a bigger pinion in it than 25. And the Creighton 25 was the max that you could fit on that stock mount. But on this thing, I think you could go bigger. Oh! oh. You know what? The brakes. The brakes. I got to turn the brakes up on it, you guys. But, you know what? It's taking some good lickings, dude. I want to see how tough it really is, you know? How that chassis is going to react and whatever, you know? Oh, my God. Yeah, it's taking those big ruts like nothing, man. Like nothing. There we go. It is rough out here, boys. The rocks are huge back here. Good Lord. God, grief, man. Nice, dude, very nice. Love it. Love the way it's handling. Nice. The rain has just been horrible, you guys. Horrible. Yeah, so the brakes. I notice the brakes are not very, uh, you know, not very high on this. The brakes are uh, turned down. I got to get them up, man. I think they were only like at 30 something. I got to get them more at like 70. That way I have more brakes, uh, more control in the air. Right now I'm having, uh... see that it's really lazy when I hit the brakes. It's not, it's not responding really good, you know? But um, not bad, dude, not bad. So, so all I really see so far man is um how we're doing wheelie bar everything good back here yeah dude yeah, everything good yeah 
All I really see is the brakes. Brakes on it needs to be tuned up a bit. But dude, nice man. I'm definitely loving this thing. You know, I, I definitely, uh, I didn't know how the uh, the 25 tooth pinion would be on it. You know, but it's uh, it's definitely got some kick to it. Oh my gosh, you guys. That was sm right into this thing. Golly. That was a good 30 mile an hour hit right there, man. You know, look at that. Took it like a freaking champ, you guys. I tell you what, man. The chassis looks straight. Everything looks good. Arms. Dude, for the first time out with it bashing, not bad at all, I will say. Not bad. Golly! What a good night, you guys. Yeah, I got to get the reverse a little bit up, the reverse right. I got to mess with all that stuff. Yeah, and I will have to say, this controller, also uh, very good. A lot better. <laughs> it is definitely moving on this pinion. Definitely, I will say, over 50 miles an hour. I'll guess that right there. Ah, batteries out. All right, guys, dude, that was sweet, man. The Outcast, that thing did great. What an amazing truck. That body, absolutely beautiful. Guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And, dude, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.